CBS News Justice reporter Paula Reed is in Washington. Paula, good to see you. I know you're very busy, but I want to start with this question. What kind of information could Gates provide to the special counsel? After today, us learning that there was contact between the campaign and someone with known active ties to Russian intelligence, we know that Gates could potentially talk more about that. So for example, these court filings don't say whether or not Gates actively discussed the election with this former Russian intelligence officer. So Gates could potentially tell the special counsel who else talked to this person and did they discuss the election? And of course, the big question is, what, if anything, did the president know? Apollo, the president has repeatedly said there has been no collusion, but if he didn't know about any of these dealings right here alleged by the special counsel, at what point does he become liable for what happened under his watch? Well, that's an open question. I mean, right now, Mueller is very narrowly focused on the Russian government's interference in the 2016 campaign. So the president really doesn't necessarily have any liability as he might with a company or, or a privately held company uh, like he used to run. It's sort of a different set of circumstances and it's unlikely that he would be held liable if, for example, underlings were doing things that he didn't know about. So what Mueller needs to do is he needs to find anyone who can provide evidence that perhaps the president did know some of these things. But ultimately, if Mueller finds out that the president had no reasonable expectation of knowing what was going on, he can't charge the president. There would be no collusion. All right, and a final question here. I want to turn now to the latest on Stormy Daniels. Her attorney, Michael Avenatti, filed a motion Wednesday to depose President Trump and his attorney, Michael Cohen, over the $130,000 payment made to the adult film star weeks before the 2016 election. What is the argument in this latest motion? So Avenatti is arguing that that $130,000 non-disclosure agreement that his client signed, that that was actually part of an effort to influence the election, to help President Trump, President Trump get elected, and therefore could have violated federal election law. So he's asking the court to let him put the president under oath and answer questions about what he knew about that agreement and why it happened when it did. Now, in his motion, he points out that former President Bill Clinton was deposed about things that happened before he got in the White House. He cites Supreme Court precedent that says, look, the president doesn't have any protection from civil lawsuits about things that happened before he got into the White House. So he's hoping the court will side with him and allow him to put the president and his personal attorney, Michael Cohen, under oath. All right, Paula Reed in Washington. Paula, thank you.